So it's certainly feeling like winter out there. How about it? And tomorrow it. morning, you're really going to notice it. Here we go. Late November. Here we go. Let me show you what it looks like outside right now. Live, we have temperatures that are at or below freezing for many of you. And some of you, like Mount Pocono, knocking on the door of the teens already. 28 now in town at this hour, right at the freezing mark for you guys in Westchester. Philly still above, but just by a few degrees, currently 36. So over the next eight hours, we'll go to 31 degrees here at 4 o'clock in the morning. 30 at 7. I think the temperature in Philly will get to the 28, 29 degree range. 20s for the first time this season, which is about, we're at that time of year, about where we should be, uh, seeing our first 20 degree day. 42 is the high temperature tomorrow, so it is a chilly one under a partly cloudy sky, we'll call it. We'll go mid 40s. It's dry across the region. Visit those small businesses on your small business Saturday shopping day. All right, so your future cast. We have just some passing clouds here and there. A little bit of a breeze out of the north. That's going to bring our wind chills down. We're going to be in the 30s all day when you count, if not lower, uh, when you account for the wind chill. But we're dry tomorrow evening, this time, nice clear skies, no problem. Our next weather maker is here on Sunday, so I want to walk you through that now. Brand new future cast data. That's what this is showing you. Clouds start to increase on Sunday morning. We may sneak a little, little sunshine on Sunday morning, but for the most part, I'm going to call it a cloudy day, mostly cloudy day. Now, I will tell you, this future cast is by far the most aggressive in terms of the early timing, where it has it moving into our area by about 4 o'clock or so. I think this is a bit early. I'm thinking more like a five to eight time frame, but I wanted you to see this because as we go into the night, this could impact, of course, the Eagles game. Any plans that you have on Sunday evening, travel is going to be a little slower because of that. This goes into the nighttime hours on Sunday before it all clears out by Monday morning, and we are not expecting any rain on Monday morning. Not a big rainmaker. I think we see at the half an inch to an inch at the most. Probably more quarter inch to three quarters of an inch around the area. Not a you know two inch rainfall like we had just the other day. But Eagles forecast. So here's what we're saying right now. The kickoff at 4:25. It is a cloudy, if not mostly cloudy, mostly cloudy, if not cloudy start. But we could be talking about showers. Of course, over the weekend, Kate's actually in tomorrow for Andrew. She'll be kind of walking you through that. Uh, what is going to be the most likely scenario? But we'll say clouds building throughout the day. Chance of showers as we get into the six o'clock time. Showers, if not. Widespread rain likely by 8 o'clock. So that game could be impacted a bit. Then we get another round of some colder air next week, looking dry all the way through your work week, but temperatures for the most part in the 40s. Guys, Tuesday, we're going to struggle to get out of the 30s mm. for high temperatures. So again, that winter rink is not in jeopardy of melting. <laughs> yeah, right at all. Thank you, buddy.